Loud budgeting could be the key to saving money in 2024. Managing your finances and keeping track of your spending can easily become an overwhelming task, especially as doom spending becomes the norm and every social media app is overwhelmed with advertisements. But in an effort to meet some of our budget goals in 2024, some TikTokers have dubbed it the year of loud budgeting, though older generations emphasized making your financial moves quietly and remaining mum about your salary. This new trend is all about being vocal about your financial goals. Loud budgeting encourages you to be upfront about your savings goals with your friends. The term loud budgeting was coined by Lucas Battle at Lucas Bottle on TikTok. In a video posted just before the new year, Lucas explained his reasoning behind this trend. It's the opposite of quiet luxury, he said. Loud budgeting has the same feeling as sneaking candy into a movie theater. You feel like you got away with something. You feel like you're on an adventure. You feel like you're coming out of the situation winning. It's not I don't have enough. It's I don't want to spend. Instead of dodging plans and finding schedule conflicts. Loud budgeting is focused on being upfront with your friends when you don't want to invest the money in something. So if you're Lucas Battle here on TikTok has told us all that 2024 is going to be the year of loud budgeting. So here are a couple examples that you can use if you're in a situation and you need to use the strategy of loud budgeting. We're all going to go to dinner to this really fancy, expensive restaurant. We would love for you guys to come. Oh, sorry, I can't. I don't want to spend $100 going out to dinner with you when I could put $100 in my high yield savings account. Oh my God, look at these new boots I just got for the spring. You totally need them. I can't spend $250 on boots this season because I'm saving up for one of my really high priority savings goals oh my god i just got this designer ring look how beautiful it is you need to get one i'm actually going on a couple trips this year and so i need to put every single last dollar that i possibly can into my travel high yield savings account this country club is so amazing you guys should totally join we would love to but right now i cannot spend four thousand five hundred dollars because i have a wedding this year and we're going on a honeymoon and so i need all that money to be going towards those savings accounts 2024 is the year we are allowed budgeting and don't be afraid to tell people that you don't want to spend money on something because you're trying to work on one of your savings goals. Friend texts you, I want to hang out. You say, I don't want to spend gas money on coming to you to hear you talk about your ex for three hours, he said as an example. And while that may be a bit harsh, the reasoning stands. Fellow creator Libby Brooks at Libby Bonthalable shared some of her own responses to friends' potential requests for her to spend money. Oh, sorry, I can't. I don't want to spend $100 going out to dinner with you when I could put $100 in my high yield savings account, she said as an example. I can't spend $150 on boots this season because I'm saving up for my really high priority savings. Goals. Don't be afraid to tell people that you don't want to spend money on something because you're trying to work on one of your savings goals, Libby emphasized. Some commenters pointed out they've loud budgeting for years. Though sharing your budgeting goals with friends may be new for some. Those who have known financial struggles for much of their lives don't find this concept unfamiliar. I've been loud budgeting my whole life, and that's on growing up poor. One person commented on Lucas's original video, Bro Reinvented Couponing. Another wrote, This trend is also indicative of the rough economic times. With most people struggling to make ends meet, even on salaries that seem like they would be enough. This is so recession core. One user jokingly commented in Lucas's original video. He also emphasized that this isn't just about saving money. It's about intentionally choosing where you invest your funds. Let's send a message to corporations about the national inflation level. He said, let's take a stand. Also, while quiet luxury is about idolizing celebrities, loud budgeting is about the everyday person, the average Joe.